First of Chronicles chapter 28. Here David is, is at the end of his life, and when a believer comes to the end of their lives, it's interesting to just hear their wisdom. And he charges Solomon, his son, he says, Observe and seek out all the commandments of Yahweh, your God. Seek out God's commandments. So he's saying, don't be a minimalist. Don't say, well, I understand there's these commandments here. This is what God wants. Well, I shall try uh, to uh, do what he says and tick a few boxes. No, he says, seek out God's commandments. Now, the skeptic would say, oh, hang on, I can't even keep the ones I know. Uh, don't burden me with any more. No, that is not the way of love. If you love God, if you are in genuine two-way relationship with God, you will not think like that. You will not be a minimalist. You will, on your knees, say to God, what is your will for me? What do you want me to do? What is your hope for me? And give me the strength to do it. Pray that on your knees. Seek out his commandments. And David was a good example of this in Psalm 119. He keeps talking there about how he loves God's law. And he keeps saying, show me your commandments. I want to run in the way of your commandments. And he also prays there repeatedly for God to give him the strength to keep God's commandments. And he says, open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things out of your law. I want to know. Now, this relationship that we have with God is never going to get stale. You will never get to a point where you think, oh, well, I know all about him, I know all about her, it's the same old scene. For one thing, God is spirit in the sense that although he is a person, he is dynamic and spirit, his spirit by its nature is dynamic. God is growing, as it were. This is why John 17, the Lord's Prayer before he died, uses all those continuous tenses. This is life eternal that we may know, that we may grow to know you, the one true God. It's a relationship that keeps on growing and does not get stale. This is the only relationship that will not be like that. The relationship with God and with our Lord Jesus. This will never get stale. And actually your relationship with other believers likewise will not get stale because they too, in their own way, are growing. All human relationships that lack the Spirit of God lack that dimension. 